Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we have the Floss Stitchers. Thanks for joining us today for episode 92. Today is July 24th. And it is a lovely evening yeah, here in Boston. Awesome. Yeah. It is so cool and comfortable mm -hmm. and a little breeze blowing. Yeah. And yes. Don't know yeah. exactly how long that's all going to last, but <laughs> yeah. we'll take it. Yeah. We yeah. Need, do need some rain, though. We didn't get much rain. Yeah, we were supposed to, so. it was threatening most of the day, but yeah. I mean, we only got <laughs> a little. little. Yeah, yeah, we did too. Yeah. yeah. Hardly anything. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to start off by thanking the many kind people who watched our last episode and wished me good health because mm. I was feeling pretty sick. Yeah. I'm too afraid to go back and watch it. <laughs> I haven't yet. <laughs> but I very much appreciate your kind comments. I am doing better. Um, I'm still not over this and still on a second batch of medication and have mm. some lingering symptom, but um, I'm doing a lot better. Yeah. So feel free if you're of that persuasion to send along, keep sending along prayers and good wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, <laughs> and I would just like to say, <laughs> <laughs> for the record. For the record. <laughs> that she didn't have a gun to my back. No, as a matter of fact, I kept saying, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to? Oh, no, no. Oh, I, fine. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Are you sure? <laughs> we can do it some other time. No, no, no. So I just want to say for the record that it was Chris's idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to take full responsibility. I gave you many opportunities to, to bow on. out, but yeah. <laughs> the show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you are better. Yes, yes. And I'm much. glad that you got a lot better to go to Stitch, oh, New Jersey. Oh, that was such motivation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had a wonderful time. Yeah, it was really I good. I know we always say this, mm -hmm. but it's always one of our favorites. Yep. We have a great table. Mm. We sat with our friends Maureen and Tessa, who we've mm -hmm. been with there since the beginning. Yep. And, and Amanda. at some point we met Amanda. Yep. And Jesse Marie has been there the past two years, mm -hmm. and that's been wonderful. Yeah. And we had two new people join us this year, Deborah and Jocelyn. Yeah. And it's terrific. Yeah. We had a great time. Arlene, yeah, we had a really fun table. Uh, Cohen works by ABC, who puts it on. She does a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. You really can't overstate how much she work she does yeah. to put that together. Yeah. Um, does a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has raffles, had like over 160 donations this year. Yeah. Mainly from vendors, mm -hmm. but um, a lot of thread vendors, some fabric vendors, et cetera. But, um, you know, from individuals as well. And this year raised almost five thousand for a local animal shelter. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. They had some, they had some great prizes, um, and you know, a lot of people really stepped up and and to help the puppies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. And a great pizza party. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Also a tradition. Uh -huh. Um, great location yep. where the hotel is. It's like. One stop shopping. Mm -hmm. Anything you could want is within um, the area there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Jane's so gonna we... go through the goodie bag items. Yes, which are always very well curated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep, we went out to dinner and lunch with our table. Um, multiple times. Multiple <laughs> times. Um, <laughs> We had a great dessert. Oh, thanks to uh, Jane. Well, she didn't have to do too much arm twisting. <laughs> so we went to Long. Oh, you got pictures of that. Oh, I do. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. went to Longhorn um, Steakhouse, uh, and for our last evening, 
and they had this thing it was called the chocolate stampede mm -hmm. and uh the description of it was this like seven kinds of, kinds chocolate. of chocolate on it um <laughs> And, and I love chocolate, and I said, I don't know if I can think of seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like the chocolate syrup, the chocolate mousse, the chocolate shavings, the chocolate, so, ca chocolate cake, you know. So, uh, yeah, so we had that, and we shared it among the seven of us. Um, it, the, it's funny because the menu says, you'll need the whole herd. <laughs> so we took our herd. We, and, we fit the bill. Yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> So that yeah. that was fun, um, and then there was a brag table, and some of those things were just gorgeous. Oh, um, oh yeah, like um, modern folk embroidery and long dog and yeah. memorabilia. Yep, just gorgeous, yep. gorgeous things. Um, so I'll put that in at the end, and then I'll also put a video of the Smalls Exchange. There was a Smalls Exchange. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't participate, but Chris did, so um, she'll show you um, what she got for that. And um, yeah, yeah, yes, that's it. So yeah, yeah, I'll put a picture of um, our table. And the commute in, home is great. You know the what? The commute home. Oh, it, it was, was so easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was really easy. It was really easy. Yeah, we left yeah. Uh, Sunday morning. Yeah. And, uh, and came back, so uh, yeah. I guess really maybe good. a nice day at the shore saved us. Yeah. People stayed until later. That's right, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, well, um, do you wanna throw out the first stitch? I guess I will. Okay. Play ball! So, we started the weekend with a humble craft, an old Hershey's. Yes, my husband and I jumped on the pickleball bandwagon this <laughs> summer. We signed up, like any good seniors, through the rec department to take lessons. And actually, it was very fun. And um, there were eight of us in the class, great teacher, Sasha. And um, uh, to my surprise, like I kind of thought it would be our age group, mm -hmm. but we were probably the oldest. It was actually quite mixed and a fun group of people. Mm. Unfortunately, <clears throat> it's only four classes, and the last one, it got so bloody hot. And she <laughs> said that the courts are like 10 degrees mm. hotter, yeah, you know, which put them in the hundreds. And um, so she postponed one way. And goes one and away, and then um, you know finally just had it, have it, and I was not in a position to be running around by that point. But anyway, <laughs> so I am making these little aprons for a wine bottle. This was I was going to do this for my husband for uh, um, Father's Day, but these didn't come in time. So this will be a future. So this was a fun little quick project to get and started on. Say? This is just one more game. Oh, yes. Okay. I might add that my husband wasn't quite as enthusiastic about taking these um, lessons. And my husband is actually quite athletic, which I am not, which I think was part of his reason. Because one day he came home and he goes, oh, you know who plays pickleball? I said, no. And he goes, Ian goes, oh, yeah, she plays all the time. And I thought, okay, well, play with Ian then, I guess, because <laughs> his interest seemed to peak a little bit. <laughs> Though I don't think he's been back on the court. So that's that's project number one. All right. Now, uh, oh, I did get back to an oldie mm. for a little while um, while we were there. One that I love and don't have too much left on. And I hadn't touched this since um, we were at the Great Escape in April. Oh, wow. This yeah. is my Portuguese fish. Mm -hmm. And I do love them. So I worked on this a bit. Right. Can I see the magazine? Sure. Yeah. Just want right. to show the people. So this is from the World of Cross Stitch, um, World of Cross Stitching magazine. 
like this. And it is the, I never can find, oh, the um, March 2018. And this is a chart by uh, Poppy Benna. And here you go. Now, not that I have it before and after, and to tell you the truth, if you had looked at it, you probably would say, well, you didn't do a whole lot. Because um, I had a lot of fill-ins, the little pieces to do. So a little bit more progress, enough that I think I won't put this away for so long now. Mm. I'm so mm. close. Yeah. You know how it, oh, well, yeah. Should I show this now? Sure. All right, this was one of my raffle winnings. <laughs> <laughs> and Look how cute that is. Nice little bag. Uh -huh. And clearly I haven't followed my own plan, but the reason I took a chance on this was I really want to work on Sir Thomas by mm. Glendon Place this mm -hmm. year. And this is by Redhead Stitching Gnome, handmade by Sarah Komar. I don't know Sarah, but she generously donated this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good one for Sir Thomas. I certainly would. So finish your Portuguese fish. That's right. Get that put, out of there. Put Sir Thomas <laughs> right That's in there, right? right? Yep. So oh, <clears throat> this project was, um, there was a challenge for those who can't participate on yeah. Friday, Saturday's evening, Friday evening, I think, was it? That you do um, mm. um, yep. three and three work on, you can set up your own rules, obviously. Some people do three new starts, some people work on three different projects. So I've been working on that. So I did that for one hour and then, I had two new starts at the retreat. That does not happen to me very often. Um, this is also, I'm kind of double dipping. Last time I hadn't pulled it together to um, show what I bought when we stopped in Bangor on our way to uh, PEI. And I had the pleasure of going to the Crafty Grimalcon. Mm. And I bought a about three things there. And uh, this being Satsuma Street, four calling birds. And I just love this. So this was a, I think I was probably talking a lot that hour since I don't have a lot of time. But I do love this little one. It's so fun. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And also, I see in my package here um, that um, I love those pony black needles. Our friend Tammy introduced us to those mm -hmm. at uh, an event. Yep. And um, I find them rather hard to find. Um, Reese of Crafty Blanca, and she said those are very hard to get in. But I was able to pick up a package there. So. <laughs> it's just a little aside. And this one I've had a little bit longer. But also, I must have been talking even more this hour because I <laughs> don't have much time. But this is French Hen. Yeah, I like that I one. That, that one. one's so cute. <laughs> yeah. My um, daughter and son-in-law love France. And they are heading to the Olympics on Friday, which is very exciting. My daughter has always wanted to go since she was a little girl. Um, so I'm hoping to have this done for a finish for Christmas. Mm, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, boy, it seems to do a lot longer to do these than it does just to go <laughs> through Just them, to show know? them? Yeah. <laughs> so then my last project, um, that I worked on at Stitch New Jersey was uh, we had, uh, some of us have been talking about um, Luca S. Kits. Yeah. And someone else had just got one too and really liked it. So I pulled this out. This is upside down. This is Christmas Farmhouse. And we were all saying how lovely the presentation of these kits are. You know, the fabric, it's it's the um, easy grid, but it's a really nice soft one. And, you know, the thread is so well organized. And 
Anyway, we were also saying how we would all like our kitchen to look like that right. during Christmas. Right. Right. <laughs> and I said, "Oh, you don't think mine does?" <laughs> and and someone said, "Well, we just see a little corner of it." And I thought, <laughs> oh, "Yeah, that's enough to give it away, isn't it?" <laughs> now here again, this doesn't really look like I did anything, but I don't know what possessed me. I guess other than where I wanted to go in the patent, but I worked on white and almost white on white. <laughs> Hence, <laughs> doesn't look like a lot of progress, but I did get to the corner of my first page, so mm -hmm. that's something. That's good. And since then, I've come and done some sort of easier fill-in on the lines here. That's great. Yeah, I do love this one. And it that's... um. What count easy? Yeah, sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Although. So it's two. It's two. Strands. two yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think the coverage is too bad though. Mm. Yeah. Given that that's. Yep. Two, you know, two over one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Looks good. I mean, maybe in the dark places, but. Oh, fine. There's a a fair amount of light in here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Boy, five easy pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you'll have, you'll so have those, those done in no time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Christmas Farmhouse will take you a little time. Right. But you're so close to Portuguese fish. That's true, really. And those are the four. The other ones are small. No so. excuse for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. All, All right. right. Want to see what I did? I certainly do. So, as Chris said, there were, um, we did a three project in three hours. So um, Arlene would start the timer and then you work on, you know, do whatever you want. But you, you know, you work on a project for an hour, whether it's a new start or a whip or you take the same project and work on it for the three hours. Um, but I only brought three projects uh, to Stitch, New Jersey. Our Jane, so she's growing up. <laughs> <laughs> so I talked about bringing three projects. <laughs> <laughs> so um I think the one that though. I were no that's Are you true. Sure? That's true. No, I only brought three. Um so I this is one that um you have seen many times before and I am I it all started out with this eat cake uh chart by Sue Hillis. And this project I'm stitching on a 28 count color and cotton called Lemonade. Which I love. And I am putting a bunch of um, motifs on it that would fit with the um, the sentiment, which is the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. So here we go. This is what I have done so far. And what I really worked on was this Oreo and I completed the Oreo. So it had um, only two colors, the light and the dark, but I, uh, I had all the dark done, but I completed the light color. And then I did start, now down here. I love that, everybody loves that Oreo. Yeah, it came out really good. Yeah. I did it one over one, because um, I thought, it would just be just be yeah, too, size too, size too big, but I think it, I I love it too. I think it came out great. I got it from a um I got it from a, a seller on Etsy, and I don't think that they have um, a shop anymore. Oh. Um. So then, after I finished filling that in, uh, I do have this is. This is a pie, and I just have to put the top. Pie in it? Uh, <laughs> I have to put the pie in it. And then I have a taco. Um, let's see. Actually, this is this is from uh, Tiny Modern Modernist, Bake the World a Better Place. And that's the pie that I'm doing. And then the, let's see if I have not sure if I have the taco. It might be on my stand. Oh, okay. Um, the taco goes very well with that burger. Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, I was just going to show who I, um, what Etsy shop I bought it from, but I don't have it in here, so I'll put it in the um, description box. But this is the beginning of a taco. 
And then I want to do French fries. And that I think will be the end of the big motifs. And then I want to put in some small candies. I have a chart here that has some Hershey's Kisses in it. Um, Chris lent me the chart from Shannon Christine um, called Summer Goodies. And that has some popsicles mm -hmm. and it has a, a uh, ice cream sandwich that I like. Mm -hmm. So and then um, I'll try to find some other charts that have the, I hope you're some little that candies. Put in your kitchen oh, definitely. Time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. So that's that. Nice. You know, every time you show this chart, yeah, and I, of course, I'm looking at the back. I'm like, <laughs> How many of those do you have? That's what I always think. <laughs> mm, which ones do I try all those? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have it's cupcake, cupcake o'clock. Clock. I might have life is what you bake, and I'm not sure. I think you do too. Yeah, yeah. More on Sue Hillis later, anyway. <laughs> Um, oh, and I also should mention that this bag I bought from OG Stitchery. That's a great one. Yeah. It's got lemons on it, and it's got a great back. And the inside is also the lemon fabric. And OG Stitchery always puts a great uh, zipper pull on it. And she never makes two exactly alike. No. So if you see it, you like it. You better get it. That's for sure. She yeah. has. Uh, you can um, get her bags on uh, Instagram, um, and it's O O H G G E E Stitchery. As as a matter of fact, this is another bag from O G oh. Stitchery, and you can see her. I hope you can see her little tag right here, and another fantastic zipper pull with a little um, shell charm on it. Oh, sorry, I can't quite get that. I don't wanna waste all your time trying to maneuver this. But anyway, you'll have to trust me. It's got a little shell charm on it, but I love this fabric. Mm -hmm. And same fabric on the inside and a nice blue on the back. Like the blue crabs. Yes. Uh huh. Right. Yep. And what lives in here is. Um, what does live in there? Well, I did have a seaside project in here, but um, I don't know. I I took it out to work on it, and then I, I don't know. I have this. You what I have. A, you needed a home. Yeah, that. I needed a home oh. for my Mill Hill uh, buttons and beads winter series. This is Christmas Village. And I am working on the post office. And these are eventually going to be finished Done. into a flat of holes. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. <laughs> and here's where I am. So um, I don't know where I was the last time, but I know that I put in some bushes on, I do Mill Hill Monday. So I put in some bushes. Um, this is the beginning of the mailbox. I started to fill in these windows and I started to fill in the, the top window. So um, I'm doing all of these on 28 count mushroom Lugana by uh, Swigert. This is coming along pretty good. It is, yeah, yeah. We got so, quite a bit done on that. Yeah. I'll wait until the end, maybe to do the beads, unless I get sick of stitching, and then I might throw mm, some beads in it. Yeah. So, it's, this is um, this is a nice size uh, Q snap because I don't like it'll fit. Right, it'll right. fit you don't have to eight by eight. Moving. So right. Yeah, that's yeah. A good. Okay. And then yeah. I finally finished. Um, I believe this was. May, a May boss me call. And I'm doing this um, Calvin and Hobbes picture that I got, um, I got it from eBay. Uh, but I don't remember who or, you know, what site it was, but 
I wouldn't endorse it anyway because the chart is just oh, yeah, awful. That's right. I that's have to crazy. Yeah, huh? I, yeah, I have to yeah. kind of pick and choose and figure out where I'm going and all of that. So uh, this is a 28 count um, Jobelin. It's called Spring Morning mm. by Color and Cotton. And I'd really like to get some more of I know. this uh, we might have when an we go. Yeah. So uh, here we are. I did a little bit more on Calvin, and then I did a little bit more on the bushes and the stones. Uh, so this is just a, a slow go. Uh, my boss me was to work five hours on this, and I needed to put one more hour into it. I put a little bit more than an hour into it, but um, anyway, it's coming slowly okay. but surely. And then I have a, um, after I'm finished with the, uh, the scene, I want to put a quote underneath. Oh, okay. So, you know uh, what it is, yeah? Um, yes, it is um, actually a quote from, uh, Who's the author of Calvin and Hobbes? Oh. Anyway. Won't come to me now. Yeah, I know. I want to say Gary Larson, but it's not. No. That's yeah. the far side. Uh, anyway, I want to put, uh, it's, it's a quote that he has, and it says, there's never enough time to do all the nothing that you want. Mm. So I've already charted it. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it because I might want to do do it one over one, but I have charted it and I'm ready to go whenever I can figure out the, the rest <laughs> of the chart. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Another thing that I worked on oh, was, uh, well, so I oh, worked on oh, Freedom oh. House which is Myrtle Craft, uh, sorry, Myrtle Grace Motifs. And this one, I just pulled out a piece of um, kind of scrap fabric. Uh, let's see. But it's, so this is a 28 count um, linen, casual linen, and this is platinum. And I brought this so that I could, I actually outlined a lot. Mm. So at the retreat, I filled in all the green, I filled in all the white. Um, I'm using uh, all color and cotton. Mm. I'm gonna use Battleship for the blue and Tusk for the white, Clara, for the red and barrel cactus for the green. Is that what a barrel so, cactus looks like? Apparently, yeah. Nice so, colors. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing. One. Yeah, so I still I have, know. you know, I still have all the. I'm not yeah. sure if I'm going to put in. You can see all the stars that are around. I'm not sure if I'm going to, I might put in a few, but I'm not sure I'm going to put them all in. But I have the, once I fill that in, basically it's just the house, the house and the tree. Yeah. Oh, and then I, I actually have to do all of the blue outline around the edge. Because I am going to do that. I'm going to put that border on, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um... I'm not going to take this out of the Q-snap. Too much work. Too much work. <laughs> but I'm doing the Early American series. Mm -hmm. And um, if anyone is doing a uh, block series, you can go on to and uh, join the building blocks. Um, Sal, that mm -hmm. uh, Missy Timberlake of Two Needles Pulling Thread is running. So... I have, so this is Early Americans, and I have um, four of them done, 
and I'm work. I've decided that I am going to work on the last five all together. So I have this is number five, freedom, and number six is Paul Revere. And number seven is Abigail Adams. Number eight is Patrick Henry. And number nine is Molly Pitcher. And uh, this is being done on a 32 count Belfast linen and this is flax. So, here is what I have. Um, Nathan Hale is done. And so uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna use this freedom, um, the freedom chart, but I decided that I would. So I started doing that and this is the mound. Um, so I started on Paul Revere's house. And most, of, most of that is done. And then I decided to jump skin, down here to do this house. And then I started on um, Abigail Adams' um, roof. And I put in some names. So I've been kind of like working if whatever I have, whatever color I have on my needle, I've been kind of working uh, with that and just kind of jumping around. Um, you did quite a bit on that, though, yeah. since last time. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It's coming. Um, I just, yeah. I don't know if this is a smart way to do it, but I just kind of, you know. Variety. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I thought, well, you know, maybe they'll all be done together. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, and then, then I got to do the border. So I had to put a border on yeah. it, and I think uh, I think I've I've shown this before, but uh, this is Suffragette from Little House Needleworks, and I'm going to use <clears throat> this bunting around, and probably you know some of these there's the bigger stars and the smaller stars, so some combination of that, and then uh, Vonna Pfeiffer has also. Mm -hmm. uh, charted a uh, border for this so i think i'll somehow put it all together and um come up with something so all right all right we'll be looking forward to seeing that <laughs> yes <laughs> so will i <laughs> all right that is that concludes my whips uh did you have a finish I have did not have a finish, but I do have an FFO. Okay, you go right ahead. Um, I've done this before, but I liked it so much that I did it again. And I'm gonna copy her sometime soon. This is um, a 2022 sal by Doreen Jones, and it's called Flowers and Bees Sal. And you can find this on her uh, Facebook page. And so this, the one that I did is actually part nine. And I just picked up, I don't know what this is. It's, it's a light, blue. light blue, um, probably 32 count, but I, um, you know, it was just a scrap. But, and this one I've done before but I think it's really, really yeah. cute. That's a great, um, yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. And, and lovely finish. Yes. Um, the um, chenille trim. And look at the back. Look at how cute yeah. that is. So um, thank you to Janet, our, uh, our finisher because this came out really good. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. I think this is really cute. Well, I had a great FFO, thanks yeah. to Janet as well. Uh-huh. And that, that was a last minute one for my um, exchange for New Jersey. So 
thanks to Jane. She'll put in a picture of that. Mm -hmm. And that was the 2024, yes, the current year, <laughs> Fairy School <laughs> sample. And the person who got mine, um, Jessica, she seemed very happy with it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, do you want to talk about what you got for your exchange? Yes, I think I will. I got this lovely Biscorno from Caitlin. That's incredible. She did a lovely job on this olive beading yeah. on the side. And um, we had a couple of um, meals with Caitlin at our table. Uh -huh. Very nice. And she also had this great sweater um, that we all should have brought to the restaurant because <laughs> it was cold. Um, apparently, Caitlin's a tad smarter than all of us, I guess. <laughs> and her grandmother had found it at a thrift store, and it was cross-stitch, I'd rather be stitching. And it was mm -hmm. adorable. Uh -huh. She looked yeah. adorable. Right? <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Caitlin. Don't mm -hmm. know if you watch us, but uh -huh. <laughs> I'm certainly enjoying this. Yeah, it's just... It's in my the stitching is beautiful and yeah. just the colors all the beads like putting it together all yeah. around it it's just amazing yeah really yeah, great work in that. so i it did not great. participate in the smalls exchange i just couldn't seem to get my uh -huh. get my act together yeah. so uh -huh. i didn't, you filmed uh, it right so we can yes see yep. yeah 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 so yeah, i will fun to yeah i'll out. put in a video of all of the exchanges um and like i said there was a brag table so i'll put a video in at the end um maybe i should put the video of the smalls exchange here <laughs> and maybe I'll do the brag table uh, at the end. Okay. All right. Um, did you purchase anything while you were at the retreat? Well, I may have. <laughs> um, also, you know, as I said, I didn't quite get my act together last time. And um, I had stopped off at the Crafty Grimalcon. And you already saw the um, Satsuma Street one, mm -hmm. Two Birds. And I also picked up American Malcolm while I was there. Mm, because I'm nice sure color. I do love this. I'm sure it's somewhat foolishly for me to think of jumping into a sale. But, um, I, and, you know, I have that live on little, which mm -hmm. I love and you've made precious little. <laughs> um, progress on. But why well, like that? You started so, you know, it though, right? I did. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. So this is smaller. 
Um, so I do hope to start it soon. I do get all the threads. Um, 173 by 146. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to find something from um, Stash to stitch that on. Mm -hmm. And, oh, the one other thing I got there was because, can I have a pass up? Another Mill Hill bead. I think this is one of this year's. I just love that. That is kind of cool. Isn't it? With yeah. The fish kind of jumping out of or jumping into yeah. the canoe, canoe ride. There. The, this will go with your camping. It one. will. It will. <laughs> Someone You're could, turning into a real nature someone lover. Someone could break in and think, like, wow, is she outdoorsy. Yep. Yep, as long as I'm stitching on the inside. <laughs> so that was that. Um, and then um, there are a lot of vendors at um, New, New Jersey. Um, Needlework by Jim mm -hmm. is there since they no longer have the brick and mortar and he does pop-ups is a pop-up room so he was there for two days mm -hmm. so I did um buy a few pieces of fabric there mm -hmm. and <laughs> okay this is one <laughs> that Jane has long suffered through mm -hmm. uh, I've loved this Sue Hillis for years and they, they did used to at the shop have a um model of it and I would go and pay homage to them <laughs> and stare at And actually, the reason I haven't bought it before is because they, there's this um, sort of confetti, you know, red background. I don't know how obvious that is on white. And I didn't like the way it showed through. But I've now come to the conclusion that either it doesn't add that much that I don't need to put that in, or our friend Maureen suggested to me that if you have uh, something um, backed with batting, mm -hmm. you often don't see that so much. So mm. I might do that. I'm a ways from that anyway, but this is just a classic and I could not let it sit there one more time. Because someday you're not gonna ever be able to find it. Jane kept saying that. Since this is a 2003 chart. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Now that it's in its third decade, yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. yep. yeah, finally pulled the trigger. Okay, and <laughs> once again, oh yeah, I, I like this character. One. I like this but one. Isn't this cute. cute? Uh huh. Bandana Ranch. Howdy. From the Needles Notion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a couple of cute little smalls out of that. I think. <laughs> so yep, I'm just. Uh huh. Continuing with that outdoor living theme. I don't know who you are anymore. I know. I know. I'm a. What's that word? Mystery isn't what I'm going for, but. Enigma? That thing. <laughs> <laughs> what's those three syllables? Oh, and that's another piece that. This is just pretty. The sparkle gray. Oh, that is that pretty. Is, yeah, I picked that up. And, Sparkle gray from Zweigart. Yeah. It's a 32 count linen. Yeah. Yeah. Just couldn't leave that behind. I feel that. I need to feel that a little bit. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I like it's that. It's a little maybe yeah. wintry kind of thing would yeah. go on that. Uh huh. Yeah. Nativity would go good on that. Yeah. Um, I guess while I'm here, I might as well show this. So in addition oh, yeah. to the raffles, yeah, yep. mm -hmm. in addition to my turkey bag, I won um, a chart and threads, and it's, this is a Rebel Stitcher design. Yes, I can't even. Oh, Louise Fletcher, eighteen sixty. Oh, a little close up there rather pretty mm. and um one lovely part about it was it came with all these almond m and m do i have that name right let me double check yes almond m and m floss and this is really beautiful and feel it Oh, oh, isn't it like butter? Oh yeah, um, 
almond. M N M. Maybe maybe M almond is the M N M's um, studio line of it. Yeah. 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 So Let's I would like show to show one of the um, floss tags. Yeah. I um. This was the model was stitched over one on forty, which I know I won't be doing. So I think I will contact. Rebel Stitcher and the Jolie, mm -hmm. who is Jennifer Wagner. She is the owner of Floss and Flame, Cross Stitch and Candles. Mm -hmm. And see if either of them has an idea of how much more floss I might need to get to. I'm gonna do this on a more workable for me, probably two over 32. Mm -hmm. I think some of the, the um, colors are enough, but there's a big green border on there that I think I might need more of that pretty dark mm -hmm. green. Yeah, so that was a fun one. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so there were, what, eight at our table? Yes. Yep. yep, eight at our table. Everyone at our table won something, except me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just, did Deborah I was very, very happy for everyone. Did Deborah win anything? I wasn't quite sure about that. Yes, yeah, she did. She won um, <coughs> some floss, I think. Oh, At okay. least some floss, yeah. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I might add that um, longtime viewers may recall that Jane was <laughs> very lucky one year in New Jersey. Last and year. Walked away. Mm -hmm. Was it just last year? It was, yeah. Wow. Yep. Walked away with the grand prize. <laughs> a queen size, am I correct? Uh, yeah. Queen mm -hmm. size quilt. Mm. And That's I beautiful. had told Jane, mm -hmm. do not throw any of your tickets in that bucket. There is no room for that in the car. In <laughs> fact, people remember it. They were like, yeah. oh, Chris told you you're going to have to wear that thing home. <laughs> but no, oh, God, yes. does she have a lesson? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, um... Did you take a lot yeah. for this year's? Did you take a lot of chances on this year's quilt? Um, I don't... I don't know. I yeah. mean, probably, maybe not as many as last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. With someone else, you know. I know. Well, share, share the wealth. Share yeah. the wealth. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. uh, yeah, but, you know, I don't care. <laughs> it's, it was for the puppies. It's for the puppies. Yes, it And was. the kitties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And probably the guinea pigs and the <laughs> hamsters. And right. the <laughs> there were some prizes there, though. Oh, yeah. People went mm. gaga over. Mm -hmm. um, Hands-on design, philanthropic pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't remember what the exact name of that is, but it was a very popular Mayflower sale. Oh, coming, coming to America. Coming to America. The, yeah, that, um, yeah, yeah. The, the box with yes. the... Yeah. With everything except, I think, the fabric. Yeah. There was a um, Hands Across the Sea sampler, mm -hmm. like a box with everything in it. Yep. People went wild over that. There were tons of threads. Dinky Dyes oh, was they were, very, very they generous. Were extremely generous. Yep. Um, yeah, a lot of silks. Yes, um, you know, various lots of silks, brands. Yep. And, um, some project bags and uh, tote bags and I mean it was it was yeah. it was impressive. And Arlene made <clears throat> um, necklaces that she did. I th I don't even know if it was forty count. You know, it was they yeah. were teeny. They were like about this big. Yeah. And, um, so she stitched them, putting put them in a necklace. Um, One of so our table mates, Amanda. She lives on a farm in Vermont, mm -hmm. and she brought two quart size, yeah, could quarts, you say, yeah. mm -hmm. of um, uh, real maple syrup. Yeah, that and they make on their farm. Jesse Marie and Tessa won them at mm -hmm. our table. Yeah, that was fun. I took a bunch of chances on that, Yeah, too. me too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Amanda got her candles. <gasps> Amanda? Oh, we were all so happy. She yeah. was wanting those candles so much. And she got Coming to America. That's right. Yeah. And she got a shawl. Oh, that's Someone right. Knit, uh, uh -huh. And that was so her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, so it was, uh, all so in all, it was Jane's very, right. very Except fun. Except for Jane, we were all very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm glad my bad luck didn't run, <coughs> rub off on anyone. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, so I suppose maybe you bought something. Too. Um, I bought a couple of things. Um, so let's see. What do I want to? Oh, do? I'll just back up for one minute. Yeah. Aside from Jim, yeah. Uh, Grace Notes fabric was there. Oh yeah. And you know, people yeah. went wild over that. Yeah. I did buy more than that than I intended to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful colors. Um, all right, so um, I will start with... Um, you look like you might need a board. Yeah, I mean, I could. Um, oh, you got it right. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So I saw this beautiful fabric. This is Sunset by Grace Notes Fabric. And I think the lighting in here, it's uh, it's dark outside. So I think it's, uh, it's probably not gonna show very well. I almost can't but remember if I went back and bought sunset. a piece of that. I was so tempted by Yeah, that. it's really pretty. Yeah. And then um, we both bought yeah. Cupid. Cupid is a pinky, purple, very pretty fabric. I was all done when Jane, I mean, I had been eyeing the Cupid, but when she came <laughs> back with that, I thought, oh, I gotta go back. And then we I- We both bought this. Yep, and then we each got uh, 20 count Lugana black. Um, I'm thinking mm -hmm. I might try using these with uh, the stockings. stockings, yeah. Yeah. yeah the I don't have a plan stockings. for mine yet, but I want to see what this 20 count Ghana phase, you know, is all about. People uh -huh. seem wild about that lately. Yeah. A lot of people are really yeah. into it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, stitching on that. Why I chose black to start with, I'm not quite sure. But... <laughs> and then from uh, Needlework by Jim. I saw this chart, and this is called Happy Halloween. The design is by Brian Jackins, and he can be found on love4, four, number four, stitch.com. Um, and I just, when I saw this, I thought, ooh, that is so creepy. And I'm so cool. Originally telling Jane, don't buy it, I have this chart. Uh -huh. But then I think we figured out, no, I have something similar. in a very, yeah, similar yeah. style. So I bought it just in case she didn't have it. Yeah, <laughs> and I encouraged that. Yeah. Um, I also got this uh, JBW oh, yeah. you that, that be um, I, I had never seen this before. It's 2012. French country fruit, cherries and grapes. I like that. And then I saw <laughs> this, and this is a this is a diamond um, painting. It's a it's a it's the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, it's on it says plywood, uh, but it's a little mermaid on wood. And it comes with everything, the panels, the rhinestones, adhesive layer, tools, instructions, a magnet, a holder. It comes with everything. So to nuts. I'm going I to encourage that because we built, both been wondering how these work. So yeah, and it was really small. So I figured it was, um, you know, doable and I'm going to open it and see what it's like and see if maybe Harley, my great niece and I could do this someday um, without getting them all over my house. <laughs> <laughs> or more importantly, ingested. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> my, my children are dogs. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, all right, and then, um, I bought a couple of charts from uh, Works by ABC, and this is uh, Nesting Dolls, and this I've been, she's had this out for a little, uh, since last year, um, but I didn't buy it last year, and I, I've been thinking about it, so I decided I should do it. It was calling to you. Yep. And so these are stitched on, and it comes with the plastic um, canvas, and so there's that's a nice small count 
plastic yeah. canvas, huh? Yeah. Well, it's probably 14. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, um, so you stitch them and then you sew them together and then they slip inside each other. So I thought that was, I think this is a clever idea. We'll see if I can do it. I'm sure I can do the stitching, but I don't know if I can put them together, but we'll see. Hello, Janet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then she has a, um, a new chart called Cherry Blossoms. Very pretty. And this is another one in her series of charts where if you can see, um, this is actually all the same design all through the chart, but it's uh, made up with different colors, obviously, to make the scene. You think he'll do it in the Gentle and, Arts or DMC? Um, I think I will do the variegated because I really like the way yeah, that looks. I think that would be worth it. Yeah. And um, I do have a stash most of my stash is gentle arts and um, weaves, uh, oh, color, color and cotton. cotton. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think it would be easy to for me to find those colors in my stash. Um, she so this is the fourth in a series. She has a sunset, a lake, and a landscape, um, which I like, but have not done yet. Well. These are and this be the these one. these are small. They're ninety six by sixty four. Oh yeah. So I could start that anytime. That's I right. I could start that for my full coverage. Yeah, it is full coverage. Yes. Oh well. well um, yes, it is. All right. The other thing I got. Um, let me just show this because it's on top. I'll show you the um, July threads I got from Color and Cotton. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some more tusk. Oh, tusk. Okay. Won't run out of that. And juniper. Ooh, pretty deep green, huh? Yeah. And this is daydream. This is evergreen. And Palomino. We had Palomino when I was growing up. Really? Yeah. Wow. And this is Kindling. And Jasper. Oh. Yeah, right over there. Yeah. <laughs> This is clay pot. I like that color. Yeah. And a toasted marshmallow. Mm. And then finally, Sonata. Mm. So, a lovely little line up there. Yeah. That's a very pretty Sonata, huh? Yeah. And a Celeste blue. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Yes, another nice little collection. Thank you. Okay, um, let me show you what else I got from the retreat. Mine's Our empty. So. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Maureen gave us these cute little baskets. I don't know where she finds these cute little things, but it's awesome and inside she kept us well supplied yes so we got some toffee that's salt water taffy mm -hmm. by the way. oh yeah toffee i mean taffy it's not toffee it's taffy um these are gorgeous colors these are okay. awesome so these are classic color works and these three they're just beautiful we got sea shelly and sea oats and mermaid's fin. Great Those blue. Are beautiful. Yeah. And then we got some floss drops. Little postcard floss drops. It's really cute. And this little fob, so charms. 
Mine, did you just have a, were they the same? Oh, Mine was a, a dolphin. Huh? A sea, sea themed, yeah. Yeah, and a 2024 charm. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to finish something in 2024 right. so that I can uh, use that. And then we got lifesavers mm -hmm. and goldfish. I'm I mean, like, the whole thing is I'm just like Harley, completely, completely sea themed. Yeah. I mean, the goldfish and the life save. I mean, just <laughs> very, very, everything. very, very thoughtful. And then this was a chart. Um, this is called Sailboat. Um, I believe this was a free chart from um, Sullivan's. Sullivan's. Um, so, but it's a, it's a sailboat. So, yeah, looking she forward to stitching this. Ties it all together. Yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was that was an awesome, awesome package. Once again, so Maureen. thank you again, thank Maureen. You. Unbelievable. Um, and then um, our friend Deb. Mm -hmm made these for us and these are such a little cute yeah. thing so it's this little you can use it as a scissor fob or um a a, christmas a, tree like she said yeah adorable. yeah this would be adorable um, i've got it next to my but other collection of all, hers. all handmade this little tomato beautiful new jersey charm a new jersey charm and a 2024 charm. Just incredible. Yeah. I mean, she's just Frank am and amazingly she's... talented. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Um, we, let's see. Um, and then from our friend Tessa, <laughs> we got this bag. Cross stitching is kind of my thing. <laughs> and really, Tessa? <laughs> Tessa, who was like sitting there whipping out projects. Oh, yeah, I know. Project. Yeah, yeah. She's a beautiful, oh. yeah. She has some beautiful projects. Um, a needle minder. So cute. And uh, look at this, this is ring. My favorite. <laughs> Put a lot of floss oh. on that. And yeah. then um, in my stitching era. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So that's so cute. And then she gave us this. Yeah. And this was a kind of a cool little tool. That is so cool. It's called Thread a Needle. And this side has a seam ripper. Not that I use that. No. And then this side has the... Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to see that, but it has, you'll have to trust me. Oh, there we there go. We there go. we go. Um, the needle threader. So, so it's a very clever. cool little thing. So thank you, Tessa. That was very, she very thoughtful. Fun little game. I know. Yeah. All right. And then this was, um, this was what was in our retreat bag. So we got um, a plastic bag with, we had a name tag. Um, and we got, a lot of friends. Uh, yeah, we got some Weeks sweet potato and some dinky dyes. Mm, Look at how pretty those are. And then we got a Stitch New Jersey 2024 scissor fob. And some stickers. And a pen. This Which was very, came in very handy for filling out raffle tickets. That's right, yes. Yep. Uh, this says uh, works by ABC. And this is actually a puzzle. So there, trying. there's some uh, beads in here. And uh -huh. there's a little puzzle in there mm -hmm. that you can, you move the beads around. Um, we got these scissors and these are actually um, airplane approved? approved, yeah, scissors. Um, if I could 
figure out how to open them. There we go. So, yeah. I always use a pair of those. Yes, definitely. Um, another Weeks, which is Grassland. And then a I love tape measures. Yeah, <laughs> a tape measure. That is so handy. And then some Trinway silks. I got a couple of Trinway silks last year too. Yeah. And um, all right now I love. Well, you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. Stitch New Jersey, uh, 2024 needle minder. And then we got. Um, we got a chart and a bag and waist canvas that we could stitch, um, stitch New Jersey 2024 on it, should the spirit move us. And some, some people were actually yeah. doing this at the retreat. Yeah. yeah. But um, I'm kind of excited that. to start this. She did a lovely um, piece on a big scarf that Who did she that? had. Christina. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it really nice. looked nice. Uh huh. It was like kind of one of those large shawl with sort of window pane, you know, oh, yeah. design. Yeah, so yeah. She did it like up in the corner. Oh, oh that's neat. Nice. Yeah. And then this, yes, this, this was one of my favorite things. So this says, Drop your needle, maybe yeah. this will help. And it's a magnet on a extension. So, wow. there we go. Wow. Cool, huh? Am, am, I, am I right about this? I thought someone said there was a light too. Maybe I'm wrong. No. Okay. Maybe, unless yours right. has one. Oh my, no, no it doesn't. Yeah. But still but, very handy, yes, all the same. Yes, this is this will definitely be going by my stitchy spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could have already given it a workout, right? <laughs> That's right. And let's see. Um, EJ from Sunshine Stitchers was there and gave out some uh, floss cards and a sticker. And uh, another lovely woman gave out something very handy. Yes. Emery board and um, a little uh, mascara yeah. brush for your um, <laughs> for for when you have to frog. <laughs> and then some of the little um, pins. And our friend um, Kathleen um, Snickerdoodle Stitch gave us this little bag. Had some trim in it and then some snowflake charms. So that was great. I well, love the happy hands. Of course, hands. we got our happy hands. And Yay. yeah. All the finishes. That's right. Whenever somebody has a finish, <laughs> we uh, celebrate. <sighs> and our friend Marjorie um, wow. and Rick. Yes. Um, her husband. Yes, her husband. So Marjorie's Wood husband. Woodworker extraordinaire. Yeah. Oh, man. He was showing us some of the projects that wow. he does. And it's, yeah, it is amazing. But Marjorie gave us these little blocks. And it has, you can see it has this groove in it. And it's for um, putting flat in like a, a flat fold. Yeah. 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 So I think this is genius. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, I can't what wait. like a great, quick finish, you know? I can't wait to have a finish to put it I in. I know. <laughs> put it in. <laughs> I'm already I gotta work, to I got to work toward on. that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I just, this is, this is just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you so much, Marjorie and Rick. Yes. Um, and then, um, Chris also said that, um, uh, Show, we showed um, the uh, floss and flame, and so she um, there was this on our everybody's yeah. uh, table, and floss and flame. This was sea salt and orchid. This is a, a soy wax candle. That smells great. Yeah, yeah it does smell really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And that's whose candles, a mandolin. Yes. Yeah. 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 Big box of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
She was so excited about that. <laughs> um, as uh, Chris said, we sat with um, Jesse Marie of Jesse Marie Does Stuff, and she gave us some um, floss drops, a little candy, and a little um, uh, thread. Um, yeah, thread holder. Uh, this was also in our bag, so these are kind of cool with, you know, you can put your threads on these. And, um, oh, I just have to, I just have to tell you this. Uh, so, <laughs> I know we're going a little long, but I, I just have to tell you this. So, um, my friend Missy Timberlake from uh, Two Needles Pulling Thread uh, made me this bag. She made a lot of uh, she made a lot of these bags and gave it to us at um, Stitch New England last year. So, believe it or not, I finally did a go bag. <laughs> and so, I just want to quickly show you what's in my go bag. So, um, I put uh, this floss, um, this wart catcher from um, Snickerdoodle. And this is a thread catcher from our friend, um, Chris. And this was a little notebook that um, our friend Deb gave me. And I have some needles and a corner gauge and my uh, wow, snaggy so nabbit. Um, you really are complete. Yeah. So this, this is actually is a, um, a uh, well, there's a tape measure in here. Um, and I put it in here because it actually broke off of the, um, the thing that, oh, will, you know, yeah, pull it in. Yeah. Um, but now I guess I can replace it with my new one. Uh, a few more needles. Um, I have a needle threader. Uh, I actually have a couple of needle threaders. I have a couple of... Uh, needle minders just in case this is my last year's stitch new jersey needle minder um i have one of you those really are little man. brushes i have a seam ripper and uh let's see That's some scissors in there. i have two pairs of scissors in here i have the little snips and then <coughs> one i have for you, one for me that's right and then i have these scissors um that uh so this was from um, um, Jen of uh, the Bougie Stitchers, gave me these. So that was really nice. Um, oops. So, oh, 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 oh. I'd just okay. like to add that and then, I have one of these lovely bags from Missy too. And I've actually have now take it with me all the time in my suitcase okay because i haven't had like a little cosmetic case to oh. keep all my you know little yeah. sundry items that have floated in my yeah, suitcase yeah, yeah. for yeah. so long uh -huh. i'm like okay <laughs> and let's see what else i got um <coughs> peels in case i need them I have a, um, I have a little, I thought I had two needle cases and I did have another, <coughs> um, hmm, what did I, I must have taken it out. Um, Kathy, two needles pulling thread also gave me a thread bed, but I must, I had that in here, but I must have taken it out. Um, our friend Maria, when we were mm -hmm. at the farm, gave us these, <laughs> these little, uh, needle books. So anyway, I love having this and, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, yeah. so I have my, I have my go bag. And as I was saying, I love, I love saying that I have a go bag because it makes me feel like, you know, I, you know, it makes me feel like an international spy. I have my go bag. You're so, ready to so, so yeah, so I have my, you know, I have my money and my fake passports and my go bag. So, so anyway, mm -hmm. I will never be without another pair All of right. scissors. Yep. Maybe. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a few mm -hmm. more things. I just have to show you, um, I, I found a few things on the freebie table. Um, we would have expected nothing less. That's right. 
So this is a really cool little kit, I thought. It's uh -huh. called Whimsies by mm -hmm. um, Dimensions. And it is a um, plastic canvas that, so you do the, the pieces and you can see that you, you kind of stand it up. So I thought that that would be really cute. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I have a sheep project that I'm going to do. So um, I'm collecting sheep patterns. I'm not sure which ones I'll use, but um, that That's is a, a possibility. Um, and then someone put on the table uh, these. They're called Deer Diary. They're mm -hmm. designs from Little House Needleworks. I did find out that there are eight in this series, oh, but oh. there were four on the table. <laughs> Someone's going to be doing some shopping. So each one comes with a um, a larger pattern and then a smaller one. So this is um, Elizabeth McGuire, 1763. And the small one is Kindness. And then this one is uh, Hannah uh, Purrington, 1796. Oops, I'm sorry. And this is Honesty. And then the next one is Rebecca Small, 1887. And the small is Love. And then the last one is Emmeline Whitcomb, 1852. And the small is Mercy. And on one of these, I thought it showed, oh, I guess I have to open it, but one of these, it showed like all of the smalls that you can, um, all of these smalls you can put um, together. Uh, and then I got this um, pickle barrel designs and this is chocolate bunnies, happy Easter. And I love the Posey collection. Yeah, they have some neat things. Yeah, and I've been to that Alaska. That's fine. And so this is Alaska Bear. Full and, kit? And it's a full kit. Yeah. And then the other full kit that I found, which I was stunned yes. and amazed. Um, I am a big Elsa Williams fan, and... Um, her charts are out of print. Um, this one, I'm not sure what year this is, but this is Secret Garden Sampler. And this is a full kit, never been opened. It's amazing. Yeah. Floss all organized. Floss all organized, yes. Full kit. So if you are watching us, and you are the person who put this on the freebie table. I cannot thank you enough. I just love it. And it adds to my Elsa Williams collection. So thank you so much. This was great. Um, so I guess I could show. I did okay. pull a couple of things. Okay. I'm not as good and patient as Jane by going through the freebies, but you know. <laughs> Once in a while. I guess I'll start with what she made me to. <laughs> she says we're going to sell that. Yeah, so. I have this. It's yeah. called Tall Sunday. And it's by um, Cappy. Cappy Designs. Yes. Cappy Originals. Yep. K-A-P-P-I-E. So if you have this, um, and I just think it's, I think it's hilarious. Yeah. There's the Tall Sunday and then there's the Tall Sandwich. So oh, yeah, I'm right. going to do that one, too. That. And then uh, this is a Jeanette Douglas East Coast sampler. Mm. And um, so we were just sitting here before. I realized this is the Connecticut version. Mm -hmm. But as Jane and I were saying, it's pretty generic. New England. Mm -hmm. And this, again, is something very generous that someone left here. This is a needlepoint kit. And it's from the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston, place that I love. And believe me, they do not carry anything like this anymore. <laughs> right. Um, full kit. And 
I was saying to Jane, this would make a nice little doorstop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to finish it, and yeah, do it. it it's it like would. 12 inches long. Uh huh. So, yeah. But one thing I, I don't do needlepoint, um, I mean, I only ever did basic stuff, but uh, basic stitches, but um, I haven't done it. One reason because they are so expensive now. But um, yeah, I need a full kit of that. That is something. date on it. Um, I couldn't find it. I no. opened it up inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the copyright just says Museum of Fine Arts yeah. Boston. Yeah, because they were made by uh, a company. Uh, it's, it's polite to point, it says inside. Yeah. This endearing tabby is a detail uh -huh. from a 17th century engraving in the museum's print collection by Cornelius Vischer, Dutch, 1629 to 1658. <laughs> Very cool. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. But the thing about these, about needlepoint is, I mean, this is printed canvas. Can't really see that much. Um, is it is easier on the eyes. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, thank you to all those people who left those things, but yes. especially to that person. Yes, yes. There were um, there's some good things on the yeah. table. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we should talk about plans before yeah. we let these all right. people go. Well, let's see. Our first plan is we're going to our LNS Saturday. We are, yes. The World in Stitches. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then I think you've got a big plan. Yeah, so um, me and some friends are going to Minnesota on the first, sort of the first week-ish of um, August. So, and when I get back on August 13th, two days later is our Flossiversary. Yes. So. <laughs> Mark your calendars. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll most likely be yeah. filming on, on that day. Um, anyway, yeah. Four uh, years. Four years. <laughs> yes, four years. <sighs> yeah. We were almost young when we started. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. The other plans that I have are um, my friend Nancy, mm -hmm. uh, visit the disorderly stitcher, uh, asked me if I wanted to do Faith of the Heart. Uh, it's a chart by Brenda Gervais. And uh, we had um, started another chart uh, <laughs> and she finished. I still have, am working on mine, but I said, well, why not? So we'll start another one called Faith of the Heart. Um, I'm gonna start that August 1st. Um, my other plan is I have to start a second um, chart for July, a second small. Mm -hmm. um, I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say in case I change my mind at the last minute. All right. Um, so you'll see that suspense. you'll see that next time. Yeah. Um, Kathy uh, Walker of uh, Two Needles Pulling Thread. Um, and Missy and uh, Chris and I have a, uh, a similar um, event to WIPCO called Boss Me, B-O-S-M-E. Uh, was started and it was the brainchild of uh, Jesse Marie Does Stuff for WIPCO. And we adapted it to a Boston, Maine um, uh, whip, uh, bingo chart. Yes. Yeah. And we have uh, some other friends who have joined in mm -hmm. with us. And Kathy pulled our next two numbers today. And uh, what did, what do you have your um, yes, chart I here? I don't have I mine. Mine, mine. Mine is at home. Um, oh, I know. But, yeah, yeah. All right. And I have got start or continue on a back. Okay. And. You know, I I don't know if that's kind of cheating because I didn't have that Christmas farmhouse when we started the board, you know, at the beginning of the year. But I guess that. Oh, I 
that's fine. Pounds, that's fine. It? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I think I can actually do that. You know? I think you can. Although, boy. You have a I, couple of other ones going, I know. too, though. Yeah. So. I really need to show that Sir Thomas some love. But we'll see. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like that's very doable. The other one I have is All is Bright. Five oh, days yeah. On. That's a good one. And that's one. another one I love. That's from one of those Hirschner big... Christmas book of crafts or oh, yeah. something. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's uh it has like all is calm, all is bright, but it's a seaside. Really love it. Mm -hmm. Haven't touched it in a long I haven't touched it all year. Yeah. It's good though. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. So that's that, a good one. Yeah. Um the other thing which you brought to my attention, um, which I really I would like to jump on that is the um did you say that's the nap time stitcher yes the uh -huh. um mm -hmm. olympic yeah challenge yeah summer olympics that yeah. sounds fun uh-huh yeah it starts on um july 26th and uh with the opening ceremonies uh huh. which is to um it's uh that would be like a new start or um something that you started in 2024 to work on that and they have, you know, there's all kinds of yeah, events. Yeah, it's really varied, so, and it yeah. seems very doable. Right. So there's like, uh, like swimming, where you stitch on something with water. Cycling, where you stitch on something that's round. Uh, um, equestrian, you stitch yeah. on something with an animal. So it's like all of these, um, of you know, I, really great things. On that, July 24th, I say it sounds very doable. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me all in August. <laughs> well, you got you got two days to, yeah, uh, yeah. to okay. start thinking about it. Um, yeah, I gotta pull that yeah. up and take a look. It's really fun. Though. Yeah, and then um, like closing ceremonies is uh, stitch um, stitch on something that you can finish in twenty twenty four. Oh, okay. So all right. Um, yeah. You, or you 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 plan to complete in 2024 so yeah um yeah so that's how it sounds fun yeah and i'm i'm definitely going to participate in that uh and you are too yes i am okay all right <laughs> um so oh one one last thing yeah is you had a treat while you were in uh pei you got something at tim's Oh, oh, I'm glad you <laughs> reminded me. Barb, I think this is for you. Mm. Yep. Um, thankfully, we would talk that Timmy's is Tim Hortons. Mm -hmm. And uh, I happened to go while I was there. And who could resist a Toronto Blue Jay donut? <laughs> Staring you in the face, <laughs> covered with icing. Mm. And so I, mm -hmm. not always a big photographer, but mm -hmm. I was sure I got a picture of that. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for reminding All right. me of that. So. Yeah. Worth the trip. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you're interested in, see, interested in seeing the brag table, um, I will put that in here. Uh, and other than that, we will see you on, on, our, anniversary. on our anniversary, which is August 15th. All right. Can't so, forget it. Yeah. All right. So, um, until then, uh, happy stitching and, uh, take care. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.